I think you got him. Oh, it's a good fish. It's a drum. All right, we are leaving Stewart and heading up to Cedar Key. A little bit earlier than we planned, but there's nothing going on in Stewart. A lot of bait over there, plus full moon. I think the big fish were feeding all night. So we decided to hit the road early. And if you've never been to Florida, there's a wonderful thing here called love bugs. And here they are. <laughs> All right, we're finally at the spot. Tide is looking good. We're ready to go. What are you hoping to catch, Dad? Oh, I'd like to catch a red, you know, considering last year. So red and I don't know if there's any drum over there. What do you think? I mean, they're known to come back in here. I would yeah. I would like to catch a big drum. Red are always good. So trout would be cool. I think there's trout in here. Oh yeah. All right, we'll see. All right, guys, there's a big black drum tailing right there. My bobber's on top of it. I, no, he's, he's messing with it. He's messing with it. I don't know if he just slurped it off. He grabbed it. Oh. All right, so... Very frustrating because those fish are back here. Uh, most of them are not in casting distance and a few of them swam right by my shrimp and didn't take it. But there's tailing drum off this point, but way too far for me to cast. There's tailing drum off of that grass point, but too far. And then there's also some tailing drum all the way on the other side of that point. So all of them are out of reach, but they're feeding, which is cool. Oh, I'm dying to catch one now and some of them are not that big you know there's there's a couple of good sizes but most of them are just kind of regular sized drum like you know five pounds or something which would be still awesome to catch they're great fighting fish I'm gonna stick around here tide's going out really dramatically back here so I'm just gonna stick around and you know if nothing happens and it's time to move to another spot good fish Oh, it's a good fish. It's a drum. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Got the gripper? Yeah, I'll get him. Told you if I cast over there. It's all right. That's all right. Oh, it's a red. Good red. Easy, Dad. Let him. Let him. Let him. Let him take a little drag if he has to. There you go. Now you can bring him over here. He's starting to tire. You're good, you're good. Keep the rod tip towards me. It's all right, it's shallow, so he's gonna freak out. <laughs> what a fucking beauty, right corner of the mouth. Do just fingertips for me. All right, so aside from that redfish that my dad caught and all those tailing black drum, uh, we didn't really have any action over there for a little while. So we moved to the bridge. Hopefully we can catch some fish coming out, uh, probably for a couple hours and that'll be it. All right, we're leaving the spot. We've been here for a few hours and nothing. Um, my dad caught a catfish, that was about it. Um, I saw them tailing, but not nearly as much as they were yesterday. So we're gonna try another spot while the tide is uh, still pretty high and going out. Uh, yeah, we'll see you in a minute. There we go, dad. No, there he's still on. No, it's a little, a little uh, croaker, I guess, or whiting. Holy 
Jesus. There you go. Keep that rod tip high. Oh. All right, guys, we're wrapping it up in Cedar Key. Uh, it was a mixed bag here. Dad caught that great red, caught a little few fish yesterday. Um, but uh, I don't know, this wind was really bad. Uh, along with the strong um, tides, it made for some really crazy conditions. Very, very muddy water. Um, so I don't know, it was just tough. I know there was a lot of fish tailing the other day. Couldn't get them to bite. But that's all right, we're moving on to the next leg of the trip down to Sanibel. And uh, hopefully we'll get into some uh, big fish down there. All right, I'll see you on the road. What is that? Oh, yeah.